All right, let's get rolling here. Today, again, I'm going to tell you about the unseen forces that are at work for your success. And they're at work all the time. Uh, whether you know it or not, they are there. We've all had it happen, right? You know, where you think about someone and, uh, you know, a couple minutes later they call you just shortly after. You know, kind of like, oh, that was weird. Uh, when you are working towards your goals, when you're taking advantage of all the other triggers that I've been talking about, and you're taking action on things, and you're focused and on purpose, these same kinds of forces are conspiring to help you achieve your goals. Uh, it's kind of the culmination of the journey that you've made up to that point that gets everything tuned in and moving along with you. Uh, so again, this is very different from stuff like The Secret. Uh, or some of the metaphysical stuff that says, you know, if you, that you can attract it simply by thinking about it. Uh, it is the action, I believe, that creates uh, the energy that brings these unseen forces into play with you. Uh, so it is all the other triggers that I've already talked about. Otherwise, I wouldn't even talk about this particular topic all by itself, uh, unless we had all the other topics uh, to go along with it. Improving your performance. Unfortunately, to a lot of people, sounds unrealistic. A lot of people get in their mode where they're, they're just so used to the cap that's put on them or that they've put on themselves, really, uh, that they don't believe they can break out of that. They don't believe uh, that they can make the significant jump that I always talk about. Uh, so it sounds unrealistic, especially if they think that they have to do it all by themselves. But in reality, you never do. You never have to do it by yourself. I know chiropractic you know, is kind of a lone wolf uh, profession. Uh, we're out there all the time by ourselves, in our offices, by ourselves or with our staff. Uh, and we think we have to do it all alone, but you don't. There are resources that you can access that cannot be seen. And in fact, they'll never be seen. But absence of their evidence is not evidence of their absence. Uh, it's very similar to what we talk about in chiropractic, you know, about an iceberg, where you can only see a small piece of the iceberg while the rest is hidden below the surface. And we talk about that with, you know, pain and what's going on with your health. Uh, but the same thing goes here. What you have available to you is just a small thing that you can see above the water on that iceberg. Just out of sight, underneath the water, is a huge mass of an iceberg. And for you, it's a huge group of invisible resources that can make a profound difference in what you want to achieve. After you take advantage of some of the other uh, triggers that I've talked about, after you open your gifts, realize what your, what your potential is, after you trust in the power of pursuit and just get after things, and use many of the other 14 triggers that I've talked about here on the show in the past several Mondays, these unseen forces will work in your favor and will move you closer to your goals as well as very often bringing your goals closer to you. Success is simply about using yourself and your world differently. You're not going to achieve your dreams through your own singular effort and your own struggle. Uh, you know, we've talked about that in the, in the quit trying harder. It's not about the struggle. Uh, the struggle just keeps you where you're at. Uh, Neither effort, more effort, nor willpower is the answer here. And I hear a lot of other consultants out talking out, out there about, you know, the hustle. Uh, you know, you got to hustle, you got to grind. And I'm telling you, that's not the answer. Uh, you don't want to try harder. Try harder, again, just keep, keeps you in that same space. Trying as hard as you can, doing the things that you've been doing, is going to take you far short of where you're capable of going. You have to take advantage of these support, support systems that I'm talking about, the ones that you just can't see. Uh, you have to allow them to do some of the work for you and sometimes get out of their way. And sometimes in that struggle, you're not allowing them to, to, uh, to get that control. These are a lot like playing a card game, and which is kind of in my mindset right now. Uh, we went down to uh, the Iowa Hawkeye football game a couple weeks ago. And just tailgating, we were playing cards, playing a game called Pepper, which I've played a couple times with, with my wife's family. Um, but we played for quite a while this particular day. These unseen forces are a lot like playing that card game. In that game, and I think it's like a few other ones, I don't know a lot of those games, but I know in Pepper, you don't bid on your hand alone. Your bid is based on your partner's cards as well. And you don't get to see those cards until it's time to play them. But you have to trust that they're going to bring value and strength to your own hand. The unseen forces that I'm talking about work in exactly the same way. I get it, you know, they're, they're phantom powers and, and they can't be fully explained, I get that. And maybe they strike you as some sort of a mystical phenomenon. 
in, in, in action, they really seem like they are. Uh, but honestly, you don't have to think about them that way if you don't want to, because trust me, they're going to be there for you. And as you, as I've seen in working with very, very successful chiropractors who have taken the 14 triggers that I talk about and put them in the action, when you do that, when you put those triggers in action, when you make your move, even before you're ready, each trigger will set into motion a different unseen force. Each trigger will bring those unseen forces together for you to work for you. And it happens every time. Your progress towards your goal will automatically begin this invisible process. So is it somewhat metaphysical? Can you not explain these things? Absolutely. But I can tell you it happens every time. They will be there for you and you will simply reap the, the benefits. And again, you don't have to understand how they work because uh, it's too complex for any of us to grasp. And I'm not about to go and study it uh, to try to explain it to you. I'm just going to tell you that they're there for you. Uh, and they've always been there when I see someone taking those, those huge steps towards success. And they will undoubtedly make an amazing contribution to your efforts. Um, and they operate through you know, your unconscious mind, through your intuition, your gut feelings. Uh, you know, sometimes, let's be honest, it might just be luck. Uh, but those are there for you. Think about those flashes of inspiration that come to you as soon as you stop thinking about something. Those are the unseen forces at work. Those are the unseen forces taking what you want to accomplish and showing you how to do it. Those creative solutions you know, that only come to you in, in some sort of a dream or, when, again, when you stop thinking about things. You, know, you have those breakthrough ideas that flash in your mind when you're visualizing your goal and you get all inspired by them. Those are those unseen forces. Some way, somehow, those resources you need just seem to appear. And when you're more in motion and when you're more tuned into your goal, you seem to attract all those people, places, and things and unseen forces that you need in order to accomplish your goal. You simply need to paint a vivid picture of your goal. I've been talking a lot about goal setting this uh, uh, season. You have to have a vivid picture of that goal in your mind for these forces to know exactly what you want so that they can conspire with you uh, to help you get there. If you think about some of the back of the, old, the other triggers, those are the actions you need to take is obviously, again, setting that goal, setting your path, taking action, even if you don't know if it's the right path, still getting yourself in motion so that these unseen forces can guide you along the way. That's what causes these unseen forces to work, is if you're focused on those ends and you start that motion. One way or another, these unseen forces are going to dazzle you. Uh, I know the example I give quite a bit uh, with clients is, is during a reactivation campaign. Uh, you know, as soon as you go pull a few files out of people that you haven't seen in a while, you know what happens, right? 10% of them just call you uh, and you haven't heard from them in years. And you sit there and you're just blown away by it. But I can tell you, it happens every time. So although we don't understand the, uh, the way it works, it works. Uh, you know, it may seem strange to you. You may not really believe it. But you don't need to know, you know, the physics of electricity either to know that if I flip that switch right there, these lights will turn off. And if I flip it again, these lights will turn on. I don't understand that. I don't understand what happens between those wires, but I know when I flip that switch, that's gonna happen. The great thing is here is that you don't need to believe or comprehend that these unseen forces are there either. You don't have to agree with them that they're there for them to work. Just do what I said. Picture exactly what you want in your mind. Get your goals. Journal it if you have to. Be very clear about what you want to accomplish. And then actively, work toward that goal, move towards that goal, use the talents that you didn't know what you had, that you had, open those gifts like I talk about, push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone. If you remember about, you know, get uncomfortable, quit trying harder though, quit bashing your head against the window, doing the same thing over and over again. Just trust in your power of, the, of pursuit, get after your goal. If you do all of that, these forces will work for you regardless. Again, just like flipping on that switch and those lights come on, uh, these forces will be there for you. They'll be there for you, to guide you. Uh, and if you listen to your gut and your intuition, they will take you as far as you want to go. These unknowns, these invisible resources are one of the most important and most powerful parts of your journey to success. When they all come into play, all you need at that point, uh, once you've taken those moments, kind of get out of their way uh, and keep pursuing your goals. Uh, and you will absolutely reap the benefits. That's it for the show today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget that I go live every weekday morning, almost every weekday morning, uh, at 7 a.m. And we start about 10 minutes early with a pre-show, so stop by for that as well. I uh, hope you enjoy your coffee today, and I will talk to you tomorrow.